Welcome to the nostalgic world of a beloved 1980s TV series that left an indelible mark on the hearts of its viewers. As we celebrate the one-year anniversary of this timeless show, it's a perfect moment to reflect on its enduring charm and perhaps ponder over whether there's a specific scene or moment that has lingered in your memory. For those who appreciate classic Hollywood talent, keep an eye out for a notable actor in the series whose performance might have stood out as your favorite. It's an intriguing aspect that adds an extra layer of appeal to the show. Now, let's delve into some captivating tidbits about this TV gem. Did you know that the series underwent an interesting evolution from a sketch on a variety show to a full-fledged sitcom? Such behind-the-scenes stories often add depth to our appreciation of the on-screen magic. As we reminisce about this classic, we're curious to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show. Whether it's a laughter-filled family gathering around the TV or a quiet moment of reflection, share your stories and memories in the comments below. So, what's your take? Is there a particular scene etched in your mind, or did a classic Hollywood actor steal the spotlight for you? What's your most cherished memory? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And there you have it, a journey down memory lane on that continues to resonate with audiences even today. Stay tuned for more reflections on this iconic series. Originating as a spin-off from The Carol Burnett Show, this 1983 television series carved its niche in the sitcom landscape. Set in the fictional suburb of Raytown, the show centered around the Harper family, notably the matriarch Thelma Harper, affectionately known as Mama. Vicki Lawrence portrayed this iconic character, bringing her comedic prowess to life. The narrative delved into the daily misadventures and familial dynamics of the Harpers, showcasing a blend of humor and heartfelt moments. What set the series apart was its unique style, blending sitcom conventions with a southern charm that resonated with audiences. Mama's unfiltered and sassy persona, coupled with a supporting cast featuring memorable characters like Eunice and Bubba, contributed to the show's enduring popularity. The series not only entertained but also provided a humorous commentary on the challenges and joys of family life. Despite facing initial cancellations, the show experienced a resurgence in syndication, solidifying its status as a cult classic. Mama's family left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent sitcoms and leaving audiences with enduring catchphrases and memorable moments. Its legacy extends beyond its initial run as subsequent generations continue to discover and appreciate the timeless humor embedded in the Harper family's escapades. A testament to the lasting impact of Mama's wit and wisdom, the series remains a cherished piece of television history. In real life, Dorothy Lyman surpasses Vicki Lawrence and Beverly Archer in age, with a two-year difference from Lawrence and a one-year difference from Archer. This age dynamic, however, didn't hinder the seamless portrayal of their characters in the 1983 sitcom set in the fictional suburb of Raytow. As the series unfolded, the producer's initial choice for the character Iola was Lorna Luft. Interestingly, Luft was the first preference, bringing a unique flavor that could have added a different dimension to the show. One notable aspect of the series is Naomi's marital journey. She traversed three marriages first to Tommy Ray, then to Leonard Oates, and finally to Vinton. This intricate web of relationships added layers to the familial dynamics explored in the show. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the nuanced choices made during the production of this iconic sitcom. It's fascinating to consider how alternate casting decisions or character choices might have shaped the on-screen narrative. These details, often overshadowed by the show's enduring popularity, provide a glimpse into the intricate decisions that contribute to the overall legacy of the series. Such nuggets of information add depth to the appreciation of Mama's family, revealing the thought process and considerations that went into crafting the characters we came to love. These behind-the-scenes details continue to capture the interest of fans, enhancing the viewing experience with a broader understanding of the creative choices made during the show's production. Betty White and Rue McClanahan, known for their roles in The Golden Girls, were concurrently making waves on television when the syndicated episodes of the show set in Raytown hit the screens. While Mama's family carved its niche, the dynamic duo was already enthralling audiences in another popular sitcom. This interesting overlap in the television landscape marked a significant era where both shows contributed to the richness of small-screen entertainment. 
As Mama's family found its stride, the parallel success of the Golden Girls added a unique layer to the cultural tapestry of that time. This crossroads of talent and popularity not only showcased the versatility of the actors involved, but also reflected the diverse and vibrant offerings television had to offer during that period. It's intriguing to observe how these seasoned actresses effortlessly navigated between the distinct worlds of their respective shows, leaving an indelible mark on the sitcom genre. The concurrent success of these sitcoms stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of well-crafted comedic storytelling. Betty White and Rue McClanahan's dual presence on the small screen during Mama's Family's syndicated run not only highlighted their individual talents, but also contributed to the broader landscape of television history. Their simultaneous involvement in two beloved shows added a layer of richness to the era, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to resonate with audiences. This intersection of talent and television history provides a captivating glimpse into the entertainment landscape of the time, demonstrating how these accomplished actresses seamlessly juggled multiple roles, each contributing to the cultural zeitgeist in its own way. As fans of both shows reminisce about the golden era of sitcoms, the shared presence of White and McClanahan in this period remains a noteworthy chapter in the larger narrative of television history. Vicki Lawrence and Ken Berry stand out as the sole actors present in all 130 episodes of the sitcom. Notably, Alan Kaser, joining in season 3, made appearances in all 95 syndicated episodes. This consistency in the cast brings a stability to the series, highlighting the enduring presence of key characters. Moreover, Vicki Lawrence, known for her role as Thelma Harper, contributed beyond acting. She penned the lyrics for the theme song, Bless My Happy Home, although the producers opted for an instrumental version in the credits. This behind-the-scenes detail adds a layer of artistic involvement from Lawrence, showcasing a multifaceted contribution to the show's creative elements. As the series progressed, Vinton's family dynamics underwent changes. Notably, his two teenage children, Buzz and Sonia, featured in the show from 1983 to 1985, were abruptly written out in 1986 without any on-screen explanation. The absence of a clear reason adds a curious twist to the narrative, leaving viewers to ponder their whereabouts. Interestingly, in the 1990 season, when Vinton expresses a desire for another child, he inadvertently overlooks his son Buzz by proposing to name the potential boy Vinton Jr. This oversight, whether intentional or not, adds a touch of humor to the character's familial aspirations. These subtle intricacies in the cast dynamics and production choices provide viewers with a deeper understanding of the series. It's these details that contribute to the lasting charm and appeal of the show, offering fans a glimpse into the creative decisions made behind the scenes. As we bid adieu to our nostalgic journey through the enchanting world of the 1983 TV series, let's take a moment to reflect on the cherished moments that have woven themselves into the tapestry of our lives. Whether it's the heartwarming family dynamics or the humor that transcends time, there's something truly magical about the connection we share with this timeless gem. As you navigate the corridors of your memories, we invite you to share your favorite anecdotes, the laughter that echoed in your living room, or the characters who became honorary members of your own family. This isn't just about a TV show, it's about the personal stories and reflections it has stirred within you. Your experiences, thoughts, and musings add a unique layer to the collective tapestry of appreciation for this timeless classic. So, don't be shy, let your voice join the symphony of recollections as we celebrate the enduring impact of this series on our hearts. Thank you for indulging in this stroll down memory lane. Your time and interest are the ingredients that make this journey all the more special. Here's to the memories we've shared and the ones yet to be made. Until our paths cross again, reflect, reminisce, and share your story with the world.